I don't think any of us would argue that 2020 has been a very unique year. Uh, I guess it started off kind of with what, Australia, the entire continent on fire, and then it moved right into a global pandemic, moved into um, some looting and some violence in the streets of America, and then, uh, well, as it turns out, right now it kind of moved into Oregon is on fire. In fact, it's been such a difficult and interesting year that most of us forget, actually, the right before any of it started, well, we had just heard about aliens and UFOs. So it's been a very, very interesting year. So what's interesting for me is it seems like all year long I've been so concerned with um, people's emotional health. Uh, there's so much stress and so much tension upon everybody that I've just been going after and talking to people about how they manage that. But what I discovered recently was, man, I feel it too. I just bombarded with this low grade stress all the time. There's no escape from it day and night, the stresses of life. And so this week, as I was thinking about that, this parable from the Bible, the parable of the sower that Jesus um, gives, it came to my mind. And, and what it's about is Jesus talks about the kingdom of God is like seeds that fall to the ground. And he gives a variety of situations that occur to these seeds. And one of them though, which I was thinking about for myself, was, well, some just get choked out. That the situations of life, the stresses of life, the things that are occurring, it chokes them out and they actually die. And so with that in mind, I was beginning to think this week how we are all in such a danger of that. That with everything that's happening to us, the things that we've been given to focus on, well, we stop focusing on them. The expectations we had about how things are to be, well, they're not actually happening. And the truth of it is, there are some things that, well, we could really lose that are important. But what I've discovered over the past, well, I think probably weeks since these fire things have been happening is, it's important to understand our purpose. It's important to understand our focus, what we should be focused on. And as it turns out, Jesus actually well, he actually told us what those things were. So like a lot of you, we found ourselves, Michelle and I, in a really weird position that we've never been in before. We were actually having to go around our house and figure out what we would want to take if we were forced to evacuate and never see anything else that we left behind ever again. And what's fascinating was, again, because so much comes back to me with scripture, as I was doing it, I was reminded of this idea of the refiner's fire in scripture, where, the idea is that a goldsmith, he takes the raw gold ore and he heats it up. And then what comes up, he scoops off. The impurities come up and he scoops them off. And what's left, well, that's the precious metal. Well, this week, what I thought about was, as we were going through the house, saying, what would we take? It was amazing how the things that popped up, I thought, that's not as important. So I actually grabbed some weird stuff. I didn't worry about my clothes. We made a pack. I didn't worry about um, a lot of the accumulative stuff that I've developed over the years. You know what I was grabbing? I was grabbing things that had to do with people. Grabbed my wife's wedding dress. Um, we grabbed my daughter's wedding dress. And I grabbed pictures. Pictures that I couldn't replace. Ones that nobody has on some digital roll somewhere. Pictures um, like, like this one here. I grabbed this picture here of a missions trip where it's one of the best memories I, I have where we took all these kids down and we had, I don't know, like eight, nine, I don't even recall how many baptisms in this beautiful spot. I grabbed this picture, this one was coming with me on the same trip where me and Lauren, uh, one of my youth groupers, we, we snuck away to a day in Ensenada and we just sat on the pier with our feet hanging into the water, above the water as cruise ships came in. We just talked about life and we talked about uh, goals and and who we wanted to be, both of us, me at my age and her at hers. And what's amazing about that is, that's what I've been coming back to think about all week. I have been in my stress, so concerned with the things I cannot control, that I have been reminded to worry more about the things I can. God has given me the ability to understand that he has told us what is important. He's told us that people are what's important. And when push came to shove, I couldn't care less about my clothes. I couldn't care less about some of the things we've accumulated. I wanted reminders of the times that that relationship meant something to me. So, understanding how best to impact the people in our lives ought to be of utmost priority. And the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus, he gave us this blueprint for being citizens in the kingdom of God. 
how best to colonize this planet with all the strife, everything that we have to deal with, how best to impact the people in ways that are most important.